Before the landing, we had a combination of imagination and animation to picture the surface of a comet. Hollywood is good, but Rosetta is better. The lander completed its primary science mission. Rosetta had been travelling in space towards a comet called 67P churyumov gerasimenko for 10 years. There was only a little way to go now, and the scientists back home would fit all these pieces together like a jigsaw puzzle to learn about how comets work. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Then the surprises began. I wanted to give some final thoughts about Rosetta and the Flame Mount Lander. Flame Mount Lander. Rosetta will drop Philae from a height of 22 kilometers as the comet rotates freely below. No active steering will take place during the slow descent to a freak show mushroom as the comet rotates freely below. As the comet rotates freely below, rotates, f rotates, f rotates, f rotates. F no active steering will take place during the slow descent to a freak show mushroom. And here's the third shiesty thing from professional astronomy. Remember when they were like, oh. Picking a landing site would not be easy. The Flea Comet Lander landed on the comet, so everybody give us praise and talk about how awesome we are. How audacious! How exciting! We are the first to have done that, and that will stay forever. Hollywood is good, but Rosetta is better. <laughs> but none of the candidate landing sites met all the operational criteria at the 100% level. It landed in the shadows, and since we only gave it two days of battery, it died. Then the surprises began. The harpoons had not in fact fired, and the lander had made not one, or two, but three touchdowns. Several onboard instruments, together with sensors and the landing gear, confirm the location of the first touchdown as planned within Site J or Agilkia. Without the harpoons to secure it down, Philae then rebounded slowly from the surface. It travelled about one kilometre before landing again. It then made a small hop before stopping at its third and final destination in the shadow of a cliff. The concert instrument helped pin down a possible location for the lander, from its first landing area shown in pink to its second and third touchdowns in the blue region. The nav cam has now confirmed that what was first thought to be a dust cloud shadow was in fact the fillet lander, together with its shadow. Well, people, that freaking comet rotates, you know? And so, unless it got trapped under an awning, you know, unless there's an awning on Comet $3 Bill, P67 Church at Cheese Machisco, that comet's rotating, and the lander's getting light. Because as the comet rotates, the lander's going to get some light. So, you know, you may not have as much power, but I would think like every three days or something, you would have charged up enough power due to the rotation and your solar-powered batteries. The comet will be moving 40 times faster than a speeding bullet, spinning, shooting out gas, and welcoming Rosetta on the surface. So that seems to be a giant, gaping hole in ProSci WTF Comet Shiesty Machismo. Fortunately, the instruments could perform their science, including drilling, and after nearly 57 hours and a race against time to return the data to Earth, the lander completed its primary science mission. Against all the odds, the landing was a success. Philae is now in hibernation, and Rosetta is back in orbit around the comet. You guys have giant balls. Somehow, time seemed to be jerks on purpose. I love you guys. It makes me so sad. You're like a really bad girlfriend. And I gotta think back, like, how do we even get in this relationship, man? Totally do whatever we want. Give the people a bunch of crap. And that is sad. And so as you guys are having fun getting rich, and you guys seem to shut them through and enjoy it way too much. And so you guys only prepared for the best case scenario? If it lands perfectly, 
exactly where we wanted to. Everything will be great. Two days. You gave that thing. Billions of dollars spent on it. Ten years to get there. And you only gave it enough battery power for two days. Whatever, man. I say go ahead and give every space program on the planet the Nobel Peace Prize. Everything is just so foobar. It's like the angry Hufflepuff division is running the show. Professional science. Professional science. To learn about how comets work. As the comet rotates freely below, spinning, no active steering will take place during the slow descent to a freak show mushroom. Spinning, freak show mushroom. As the comet rotates freely below, as the comet rotates freely below, spinning, rotates, f spinning, rotates, f spinning, rotates, f rotates. F no active steering will take place during the slow descent. Spinning. This is a Thor News presentation. Doesn't matter what I believe. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. <laughs> I think this one's gonna win me a kiss. Oh yeah! Let me get you up to speed real fast. Sorry if I'm excited. That's how it goes. Asterisk. Peace out. Sweet.